So, one problem you're often faced with is where to put all your parts. But you know what? We have a solution for that. Welcome back. My name is Nick. I'm with Corolla Ready. Today we get to meet a longtime friend, Jason. So Jason, mm. so I know we have some big plans for you, this Jeep here. Um, do you want to tell us what the next step is? Yeah, absolutely. We've already taken care of the back of the Jeep, the long arm setup, the new uh, brackets to the frame, etc. The front, however, is still sitting on its two inch puck lift on these adjustable coil spacers. A TerraFlex big brake kit has been added. However, we need to remove all these things, take the whole front axle out completely, and put in our new Curry Rock Jock axle. Starting with getting the wheels off and getting the wheel spacers off that we had applied uh, previously to try to fit the 35 inch tires. All right, so back on the build, I want to show you a few of the parts that we will be working with next. This is more than just a simple build, and each of these parts have been carefully selected for their use. And Jason will tell us a little bit more why he chose to go with these parts and the intended purpose. Yeah, yeah right on. You hit the nail on the head. Uh, most things I do, there's a, a very carefully selected build plan for it. I go through a lot of research to try to find parts that won't interfere with each other that are also some of the best in their class. So along with the axle that's right above us that we're building uh, for this Jeep, uh, we're starting on our knuckle ends with the Rancho High Steer Knuckles. They're a little bit thicker, selected them for a number of reasons in that you can actually put a drag link up on top without having to drill out your high steer uh, sleeve here. Secondly, you can see there's a significant amount of metal up here reinforcing this knuckle making it extra strong, uh, plus it's red, it's a nice color, it already goes with the <laughs> accents of the Jeep. <laughs> uh, going on top of that, we're going to be putting on the TerraFlex 8-lug, uh, one-ton hub system, or 8-lug TerraFlex hub kit, uh, full flow just like any standard front hub. You have a bearing inside and a bearing outside. This will have an actual hub kit, and this is, aside from being 8-lug and also retaining your wheel speed sensor and being one sealed unit, you also have a 35 spline pinned uh, hub. Thank you, Jason. So obviously a lot of thought has gone into this. Um, what results do you expect to see with putting all these different components together? Wanted to have the ability to run a 40 inch tire. Uh, however, I, I don't want to run a 40 inch as my daily driver. So what I've built this for is 37 inch tires with the ability if I wanted to try out some 40s, but I'd be running a daily driver on 37s. I think that's big enough for me. And I wanted these parts to last a long time too. I don't want to be uh, having certain parts wear out prematurely while all the rest is beefy. So this is a holistic build thinking from the ground up, every piece is designed for strength. A lot of time, thank you. And obviously we want, don't want to get stuck on the trail, especially when we take our families out with us. So I'm glad to see the effort and the energy you've been putting into this. And glad I've been able to be out here and help a little bit. And can't wait till we get this on the trail. You bet. Glad to have you out here. 